come on, video game. You couldn't at least get rid of the hair to... I won that hair versus hair match. What the hell? You know what? I'll just do it myself. Serves you right, Dean Ambrose. Anyway, what's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Wrestling Revolution 3D. Today, we have a confrontation with the former one half of the tag team champions, of which I am now the new tag, tag team champions, Doink the Clown. And we're doing it on the day after Rusev Day. It is a fine Wednesday. What's good? How are you guys doing on this? Oh, he's bringing Rusev with him. It's Rusev Day, or it was Rusev Day. And there are some things to discuss uh, on the day after the most glorious of holidays, Rusev Day, uh, on this channel, on this show. Yes, I will get to some of this... 2k18 dlc stuff in a separate video because i think my my thoughts on that kind of are larger than the scope of this particular show obviously things to, to discuss like smackdown and uh, some raw stuff and other news items but before that let's see what doink no matter how many matches i win you, you ignorant people never can be the respect i deserve you're a clown you look at me as though I'm a normal human being when you should be fearing me as your master. Master clown. But I'll teach you some respect by making an example out of this poor son of a bitch. It's not about how many times you win. It's about how you win that defines a great wrestler, sports entertainer. And if you have trouble understanding that, just watch how I beat you right now. Rusev, back up. Back up. Okay, here we go. Oh, Canadian Destroyer off the bat. Doink. So this is just a confrontation, so no refs, no pinfalls, no rules. My tag team titles. How about that, Doink? This is what you this is what you asked for, Doink. Guess what? You gonna get got by a tax slug. For those keeping track, that extends my undefeated streak to five weeks. Five weeks after that loss to Booker T. Doink couldn't do it, nor can anyone else. My reign on top will continue until I choose to retire or fight Booker T again. I guess. I don't know. Rusev, no. You don't want none either. You don't want none. You don't want none. The chopping block reigns supreme. Knocked him out in 27 seconds. But he's not affected by that. What? Rusev, disappointed. Don't disappoint Rusev on the day after Rusev Day. What the hell? The fans insist on treating HBK as a face despite attempting to play a heel. I mean, he is the greatest of all time. So, Dean Ambrose, the bald Dean Ambrose, on a new team with AJ Lee. Super Lucha Libre have poached Dean Ambrose's tag team partner, Bobby Roode, for $93,000. Ryback is glad that Bobby Roode has left all American wrestling. Honestly, Bobby should also be bald, but, you know, what are you going to do? Kamala, released by Super Lucha Libre. Oh no, here's a match we're not going to play, because it's an eight-man tag team elimination, and those take, like, a half an hour. So, nah, son. We're going to proceed, and we're going to simulate, because I don't care. I don't want to spend a half an hour in one match that's not a good video. Been there, done that. Anyway, our one news story. So it's me, and Harper, and Matt Hardy, and Chris Jericho, and... Who else is here? I want to see. Eric Rowan. That's a, and Sarge. So, the chopping block plus Hardy and Jericho plus Eric Rowan is your team here. And their opponents. We have AJ Styles. We have Jim Ross. Booker T. Finn Balor. Who else was on their team? Just those guys? Just those guys. All right, whatever. Sorry. They can win. They, they can have that win. They can have that win. Because I'm not spending a half an hour in one match because those don't have a time limit. There's just, you keep on going until it's over. So, whatever. I'll take that forfeit. Don't even care. Five and a half minutes, my ass. That would have taken me at least a half an hour. Hey, I got some credit after scoring an elimination. I'll take it. Luke Harper, not affected. And it is time for the chopping block to defend our tag team titles against Dolph Ziggler's team. Anyway, moving into the news section, beyond that 2K18 DLC, which is not as good of a value as last year's. I'll get into that in a different video, hopefully. Um, and Ziggler and Road Dog. So Ziggler playing the part of Billy Gunn as he's done in his career. Uh, John Cena was at Nintendo for 
reasons. We don't know what the reason is. There was a photo of John Cena and Reggie, the president of, of Nintendo, and Doug Bowser, their head of VP uh, marketing sales. Yes, the guy who heads up their sales di division, his last name is Bowser. That's really funny. Um, that would have been an easy hire for that company. Uh, but yeah, Cena and Nintendo. Now, was it to do something regarding the uh, Switch version of 2K18? Who knows? That version still do does not have a release date or any screenshots or video or anything. Nobody knows. I have serious doubts that game's going to make it out on Switch this year. They've already cut a feature, so, you know. They've already said, no, we can't have 8-man in that version. It's not working, so I have concerns about them getting that to be how it should be on that system. But hey, we'll see. We'll see. Perhaps that works some magic, or perhaps it'll be like... Two per 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 perhaps it'll be like... 2K18 on, uh, for, for, uh, NBA, where it needs an SD card to even play the game because it requires such a massive amount of space. Would not surprise me. Would not surprise me. It's called compression, you guys. Learn it. Learn it. Anyway. Anyway, you got that, that many characters in the game, it might be impossible. Anyway. Um, moving on to Raw. I did have one kind of, people were saying on Raw that Enzo turned heel. Having watched that segment, I can see why you'd say that. Uh, I think folks thinking that that was a double turn, not really. Ne N Neville still seems like a heel to me, but uh, they were cheering him because he was ripping apart Enzo, who's got, you know, a metric ton of heat for being Enzo and just being a, a, a loud mouth and uh, whatever else. So I can see that having Enzo saying, I default, I, I couldn't get my special off there, whatever. Having Enzo saying, that he made more money from a merch check than everybody in the crowd combined, that's a heel thing to say. Come on now. Um, like the, I understand where that, that is coming from. His his demeanor was definitely more of a heel demeanor than it has been uh, in that particular instance. And I don't know. Like We'll see if they keep furthering him in that direction or not. Uh, but I can, I can definitely see where folks are coming from with that particular distinction. Otherwise, Raw was just kind of, alright, it's Raw, whatever. Um, not too much important there. They are totally, it looks like they're, they're going in that direction of of the S.H.I.E.L.D. thing and the Miztourage. And it's like, of all the groups, I hit start by accident. Of all the groups you could have gone with to potentially reform the S.H.I.E.L.D., the Miztourage? Really? Really? To quote the Miz, really? Uh, that is like the most ineffectual group that you could possibly choose to do that because... Who's going to buy Bo Dallas as somebody as a threat? Or Curtis Axel, considering how they've been booked the past, I don't know, several years. But as we've seen, they totally made Jinder world champion, so perhaps none of that actually matters. If your if you're week-to-week -week booking is good, then perhaps your long-term doesn't actually matter. Sling Blade. I don't know. That's, whole, that's, that's a whole different discussion. Anyway, let, let's, let's hopefully... Harper, get out of, we don't need you, Harper. We're good. We're good, Harper. I mean, just get out of the ring, Harper. Look, I understand you want to help out your fellow teammate here in the chopping block, but I can do it all on my own. All by myself. Don't worry. All right, moving on to SmackDown. Because that that happened last night. Because uh, it is Wednesday. Oh, don't, need, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Uh, haha. Neck breaker. Um... They gave lyrics to Baron Corbin's theme. Now has lyrics. So, I guess that makes it better? Honestly, I feel like sometimes they kind of just do a theme and go, Okay, well, it's not working. Give it lyrics. And that really isn't helping the trash fire that is Jason Jordan's theme, to be honest. But in this case, I think it actually works. So, I kind of I kind of need to hear it a few more times to decide whether or not I like it. But I think it, it does do better than what he previously had. Uh, as his new theme, and honestly, I didn't hate his old theme, so I'm not really sure why he needed a new theme, but whatever. There we go. Successfully defending our tag team championships. And Road Dog, you don't want none, Road Dog. You don't want none of this. More importantly, I still want a shot at that world title, because then if I get the world title, then the chopping block will have all of the belts in all American wrestling. Luke Harper's strength increased. Mankind and Eric Rowan. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of works. Fans insist on treating Hebner as a heel. You screwed Brett. And continuing. 
our tag team nightmare. We have Randy Orton's team here uh, in a non-title match. Oh no, we've somehow made our way to TNA or, you know, AAA and are fighting in a, like, eight-sided ring? What? It's, it's not even six sides, it's like eight sides. Or ten sides. I, I, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, it's eight sides, okay. Anyway, we have Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy. This camera is really just... Alright, well... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Matt and Jeff Hardy and then Randy Orton. Let's go through the rules. What rules, Earl Hebner? What rules? It's a tag team match. The first team is... This is just standard rules, Earl Hebner. Alright, I get it. Ring the bell. May the best man win. Elsewhere on SmackDown, we have a confirmation now that our two Hell in Cell matches will be... Uh, Owens and Shane and the Usos and the New Day, which potentially will be the best match of the night, uh, but most interestingly, that means that we're not getting Nakamura and Jinder inside of a cell. And I'm sure the Singh bros are super pumped about that. They're like, oh god, we, 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 we don't have to die again. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, also interesting that Owens is saying, yeah, me and Shane is the main event, which really continues to devalue the world title on SmackDown. Uh, world title should always, 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 your main belt should always be the main event. That's kind of how wrestling is supposed to work. Why else would you be there if you don't want to be in the main event fighting for the world title? That's, I don't know. That's just my thought. I'm an old school guy. Like, that's just how I think it should be. But hey, they're going to do what they're going to do. It, it just makes your title seem less important, to be honest. Um, and if we get the same gender match again with the same interference and the same result, then why is he still your champion? I don't, like, I don't get it. Anyway, uh, Fashion File for turn next week. Rizongo next week. Hype about that. Where have they been? We still don't know who, 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 were the ones who trashed the office. Stunner onto Randy Orton. I want to know. Perhaps they spent that time because they ran out Ran, ran, ran out of ideas and needed some time to actually get some new ideas for their Fashion Files segments. So, hopefully, it's awesome. I have no doubt that it's going to be awesome because they've done amazing stuff with that Fashion Files. Anyway, um, we finally, finally, finally have Bobby Roo interrupting Dolph Ziggler in his tirade against entrances. And I feel like Dolph Ziggler is the guy on SmackDown. He's the, hey, you guys... You got called up from NXT. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm gonna lose T win a match on, on, on pay per view. That seems like what, what they've been doing with him for a while now. Uh, so I guess congrats and welcome to SmackDown, Bobby Roode. You're gonna beat up Dolph Ziggler in a match that may or may not be good. Who knows? That that match he had against Nakamura the first time was not a good match. Uh, so perhaps they've learned their their lesson, but maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, so, Randy Orton and Luke Harper getting into it on the outside. The fans chant ECW, and it is spilling out into the audience here between Luke Harper and Randy Orton and Earl Hebner. What is even happening? Complete and total chaos. Reigns supreme, and your main event for SmackDown was Owens and Sami Zayn again. And look, those guys pretty much always put on a good match, but man... They made such a big deal last year at Battleground about that was the last time. They were never going to fight again. That was it. That was the final chapter. And how many more times have they fought again since that match happened last year at Battleground? That's consistency in your booking. And it would have been fine after the brand split had they been on different shows. You could have kept them apart for a year and then had your thing happen, you know, when they were on the same brand or whatever. But that's not what you did. You drafted them both to SmackDown. So, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm just asking for a little bit of consistency. And I can't pin Jeff Hardy because he's not a legal man. Come on now. And I'm just flip, I'm flip, flipping off somebody, which is, which is really funny. This is broken down into absolute chaos in this matchup. These, these six men are just going at it. And Earl Hebner with a chair. Please. Oh, there you go, Randy. A taste of your own medicine, Randy. One, two, ah, oh, well. As a reminder, 
non-title. So if we lose here or get dis disqualified, it is non-title. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think that's kind of it in, in terms of SmackDown. Uh, you know, there are certainly things like, uh, why do they keep having your Miss Money in the Bank fight people who are in line for the title and then lose to them? That seems weird to me, but look, I'm not going to sit here and micromanage their booking, but that just seems weird to me. Um, I think it's weird that they, 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 they sent out, uh, backslide. Rope break? They sent out knock of, or they they sent out Jinder and the Sing Bros to do the same thing they did last week, where the fans were like, "That's too far," and then then had Nakamura come out and beat them up. I'm like that's fine, but why? I don't know. There's there's some stuff that I'm maybe will make sense eventually in the big picture, but in the short term, I'm just like, why are you doing this? Who knows? Who knows? As we continue to build towards hell in a cell, which hey. That might that might be a good show, but it might not. We'll see. We'll see. Over. 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 Anyway, let us put Jeff Hardy out of action here. Uh, hopefully. Come on, Jeff. Do it if you're bad. Nope, he's he's not gonna fall for the same trick that happened yesterday. He's not. He's not. But I'm getting pretty close to another Oh! Drop toehold. To another slug stomp here. Uh, which will hopefully what is Randy Orton doing? Throwing other objects into the ring. Foreign objects into the ring. I don't appreciate this Randy Orton. Trying to get somebody to pick him up and get disqualified. Uh, this is a legit competition here, Randy Orton. How about an F5? On to that solid steel dumbbell. One, two, three. That's, I F5'd him onto a dumbbell. It's going to knock anybody out. That's right. Non-title, we still are the chopping block. Matt Hardy is disappointed in Brother Nero. Randy Orton renewed his contract. Wait, 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 what? Sergeant Slaughter, at the age of 51, and one half of the tag team champions, has retired from wrestling to pursue other ambitions. What happened, Sarge? We were the chopping block. Just because I, I didn't tag you in... So what does this mean for the tag team titles? Is it, is it me and Luke Harper now? What? This is the, the end of... Yeah, Luke Harper is sad. So am I. Booker T is glad about it. Jeff Hardy is now a heel from being associated with Randy Orton. And Brock Lesnar has renewed his contract. Bob Sapp got released by Strong Style Wrestling. Listen, Attack Slug. Have you ever considered changing how you carry yourself? No. No, I haven't. And I have creative control. So you can't... You can't change my gestures. I'm sorry. You can't change my gestures, YouTube. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm good. Well, you don't look very comfortable right now. Body language is important for any performer. You still can't make me change it, Steph. Sorry. AJ Lee. Hey, Attack Slug. I, have, I heard you have a match against AJ Lee, which is, which is me. Do I? How would you like me to take her out for... But you're... You know what? I'm going to pay for this. This game's broken. I'm gonna pay for this. Yes! Weaken AJ Lee for me. Here's $16,000 to beat yourself up. Consider it already won. I honestly don't know how this is gonna work. I, what? I have half a million dollars. So, the money is not an issue here. Um, but we're gonna find out how this works tomorrow on this show. Uh, but also, before that... Before that, um, I need to know what's going on with the Tag Team Championships. So that's a tag belt. Nakamura is the World Championship. And er, er, Luke Harper is the IC Champion. So there's... I am the Tag Team Champions. I am the Tag Team Champions. Much like Daniel Bryan and the Monster Kane, I am the Tag Team Champions because my Tag Team Partner... Retired, so that's weird. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.